The development staff is the same. So it's almost like we picked up where we left off last year. And then a lot of the players are new, but there was some familiar faces and that's always helpful because the first day when I walk in and like, you know, five guys are giving you high fives, like, hey, how are you? Then everybody's like, oh, this is normal. First of all, I'm really thankful for Brent Flair and our Princeton connection for inviting me here. She reached out and see if she could come and take part or just observe uh, how things are going. So. We invited her to a couple of hockey operations meetings and analytics meetings and she jumped in and uh, she does a great job, has a good relationship with the players and her development staff and to be able to bring her back again this year was, was great and she's got a little more comfort level with some of the guys here already knows, uh, the players and staff, So, uh, but she's awesome. I think it's like most important for these young guys. They probably, I would bet if we asked them, it's the first time they've had a woman outside of like a skills coach or a skating coach, like be on the ice teaching hockey and they've, re they've received it so well. Um, but I think for them, it, it's, it's the biggest eye-opener and that's what starts to change the culture. When, when they have one woman involved and they're like, oh, okay, then it becomes more normal and more normal and more normal. It needs to mean something. I think that we have to make sure we're not just adding labels and creating positions that aren't legitimate, that we're taking like legitimate professionals and players and giving them a chance to like, you know, teach and give value. So as long as these positions are, are legitimate and not just kind of a PR move, then it's awesome. I don't think any of us want the PR moves because it takes away from the people who have been grinding it out for <laughs> 11 years. We don't care whether it's a player, whether it's a staff, they can help us win. They're welcome aboard. So uh, she's obviously uh, done a great job at Princeton. It's always great when you can get with new coaching staffs and hear the way they teach things. And, and honestly, the majority of our time is sitting there talking hockey and I'm kind of a hockey nerd, so there's nothing I like to do more than sit and talk hockey with different coaches. So every time you go to different events with different staffs, like you open your toolbox and you get a whole new set of knowledge. So it's been awesome.